Kevin Kitchen Recipes. I am Kevin and have you ever, okay, well this video is mostly for people that have a Blackstone griddle or any griddle as far as that goes, uh, but have you ever wondered what the inside temperature of your dome uh, lid is? Like when you've got your dome on your food, do you ever wonder what the internal temp is? Well, I do. Okay, so we, uh, we have heat guns and we can uh, measure the temperature of the grill. I've had this on for about 10 minutes. I'm running at about, I'm on all the way on low, and I'm running about 280, 275, 280, right in there. So what I'm going to do is, I've got a uh, cooling tray that I use for my beef jerky, and I've got my temp probe on there, and I'm going to set this on here, and I'm going to let it go for 10 minutes find out what the internal temperature using your dome is on the inside of the setup I've got my uh, cooling rack it's about a half inch off and then I'm gonna I've got my uh, temp gauge right there I'm gonna cover the dome put the dome on it we'll let it go for 10 minutes and uh, we'll see how what our temp is in, inside that dome okay, so it's been on about 11 12 minutes uh, I've been watching the temp on my phone uh, from my from my uh, Tenergy uh, temp gauge. I'll show you that here. Here we go, 338, uh, it was 334, 5, 6, there we go, 340, 342, it keeps increasing. It has slowed down, but it uh, has not stopped at a uh, specific temp, so. See what the temp gun will say right to the outside of it. Okay, 15, 17, 20. So there you go. 345, 47. I'm trying to see if it will uh, level out and stay at a certain temp. So let me let it go a few more minutes and see what happens. Okay, so for the, like the last uh, three minutes or so. It does seem to have leveled out and it's going from 360 to 352 to 360 back and forth. So I'm thinking after 15 to 20 minutes it does level out between the 150 and I mean 350 and 360 degrees. So it's hanging tough right in there. So there you go. And this is on the low temperature. Let's see what we got. If we just point it over here. 70. Yep, so they're pretty close. Once the once the griddle evens out on the temp, here we are back to 358. 360. It, it'll probably drop back down. It may go to 361. But that's been what it's been doing for about the last five minutes. Okay, so there you have it. Now you may be asking, why do I care? Why am I doing this? Well, you know, hey, I'm thinking I'm going to bake something on here. Uh, it just started raining <laughs> a little bit here. We're supposed to get a pretty good rain tonight. Uh, anyway, I will uh, get something baked on here and uh, you'll get to see the result. So stay tuned. So now, uh, actually, before I conclude the temperature part, Took, took the lid off. Now I'm going to close this lid for those of you that have one with a lid. And we'll see uh, about 10, 15 minutes what the temp is. About 15 minutes. It is raining here. It's been going, it's at 199. It got up to about 217. So just closing this lid uh, is not giving you a lot of heat as far as staying inside the a dome type atmosphere. And the griddle is still at 370, 380. So, all right, let's get something baked up. Okay, so we got the uh, grill back up to temp. I'm gonna do some test run for the cinnamon rolls. So we're gonna get these on here, and uh, the instructions say 400 degrees, 13 to 17 minutes. Uh, my little dome it heats up to 360 on low, so we're gonna let it run at that. 
and uh, we'll check it after about, I don't know, 10, 12 minutes. All right, so let's get these on there. Moved over to the left side from the center on my, when I was testing the tent. We're just gonna set them in there. And we will put the dome on. And we will check them in about, I don't know, 12, 13 minutes, something like that. We'll be back. I'm gonna get some bacon on here as well to get our get some breakfast going. Okay, it has been 13 minutes. So let's give them a quick look. Well, they're looking good. Looks like they need to go a little while longer though, so we need to cover them back up. Wait another four or five minutes. Okay, it's been another five minutes, but what I discovered was I had my uh, I had it all the way over here to the side. Well, it doesn't get so hot over here. The uh, Flames are right here, so I moved it over. Let's give them a look, see if they're getting there. Yeah, that looks better. Looks like they got another five minutes or so. So I kind of screwed up on my placement, but I'm thinking the 13 to 17 would have worked if I had this set right. So check back in five more okay, minutes. Okay, so we've been a total of 30 minutes, but I screwed up. Like I said, I didn't move it over. I think it wouldn't have taken this long. Well, they may not be done. Let's just give them a look real quick after 30 minutes. Oh, they're puffed up nice. The bottoms look good. So I'm gonna call these done. I'm gonna let them cool, get some icing on, and we'll uh, take a taste test of them. How about that? <laughs> uh, cinnamon rolls on the Blackstone, under the dome. Uh, if I would have had it in the right spot when I reheated it back up, I, I just screwed up. But anyway, here they are. Here's the bottom. Looks good. I'm gonna Cut it in half. See what the inside looks like. Looks like it's done to me. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Yep, they're done. It took a half an hour. Shouldn't have taken that long. I would probably do at least the 15 minute mark and check on it. Hey, they're done. It worked. You can bake on the Blackstone. So there you go. We'll see you on the next video.